What is up, guys and gals, gamer, YouTubers, and all you roughnecks out there? It's your boy D Rico, and guess what day it is? Yeah, that's right, it is hump day, it is Wednesday, it is our walkthrough Wednesday, which means that we are continuing our journey, and we are down to the last six characters of this uh, classic mode, Smash Brothers Brawl, little fiesta thing that we've got going on. I don't know why I just said fiesta, it's not a party, I don't know. We're just doing it up, last six characters, and I believe I'm gonna do. This time, I'm going to go with Falco. I'm going to do Falco, Meta Knights later, and then I'm going to save like the last four for the ones that I don't really, not all that great with. Um, yeah, that's just, that's just what it is. Let's put my name down there. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing underway. Hope you guys are having a good hump day. Uh, it's been uh, it's pretty, pretty slow morning. Uh, it's kind of hazy outside. Not a whole lot going on. Oh, there we go. It's not a whole lot going on in my neck of the woods. And... Um, Oh, get it. Oh, that's how we do. Get it on, Falco. He's not a bad player. He's He has a quickness similar to Fox, but he's not that fast to where he's uncontrollable. Uh, and his attacks have actually proven to be pretty powerful. So I'm, I'm, I, I dig Falco. Um, not uh, not a character that I'm very familiar with, but again, since he because he's similar to Fox, it's it's kind of easy to just kind of pick up where on uh, a lot of the things that. Oh yeah, Yoshi do it. Oh boy. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Anyway. Uh, last night, last night, oh man, what can I, oh, I just, uh, last night was the, uh, airing of the newest episode of Sons of Anarchy, freaking ridiculous, uh, this is, I'm not gonna, I definitely don't want to give away too many spoilers, um, <clears throat> it has been a long time coming for this episode, uh, some, if, I uh, if I might be as so bold to say that karma is finally catching up um, I don't know if you'll I don't know how you're gonna take that I don't know if that uh, rings any bells but yes yes it is indeed that time and um, it's it's so good to finally see some things coming into light that have been taking oh shit you stupid Pokemon Come on, come on. Oh, wow. I didn't know that the ground beneath me just blew up like that. That's cool. So, yeah, Sons of Anarchy. Uh, there was a few moments where it kind of... It didn't have me on edge, but it was pretty intense. And it was just like, oh, man, which way is it going to go? And then by the very end, you were just like... You were cheering because these things finally happened. And it's like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. And it was, it was just awesome. Uh, so, I am very excited for next week. Eat him, monster! Not him. I thought I did it. What are you doing? Are you trying to go for that hammer? You can't get that hammer. He got the hammer. Oh shit. Okay. We'll just stay out of his way for a bit. Come on. Yeah, there you go. That's what you get, Ness. I don't mind Ness. Ness is a good thing. Um, so yeah, throughout the whole episode, it was just kind of... 
there were a lot of developments that uh, were just, oh shoot, you know, how is he going to handle, how is Jack's going to handle it, how is it going to affect the club, um, there, you might have thought a little bit of betrayal, you didn't know if it was part of the plan, you didn't know a whole lot of what was going on, and um, at the, again, at the very end, you were just like, yes, do it, do it, do it, do it, because it, it had been building up for the past three episodes, and again, I can't really, I can't tell you a whole lot of details about it, because if I do, it'll definitely give it away as far as, like, what, um, what I'm talking about and future events to come, so... that mess hands off, my prey. hands off my prey is that what he said Versus Zero Suit Samus. oh boy so yeah so looking forward to very much looking forward to uh, the very the next episode in this uh, in this dramatic series uh, let's see and another let's see Ooh. Oh man, I hate it when <laughs> I always forget it that it flips upside down like that when that buzzer goes out. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. Another TV-related news. Um, it's so unfortunate that uh, one of my, one of the shows that I watch and I'm a pretty big fan of is Franklin and Bash, and it just I just they just announced its cancellation. So I was pretty I'm pretty bummed about that. It is a very uh, it's a very good show, very underrated. Um, Mark Paul Gossler, Brian, uh, oh wait, Brecklin, it's something Brecklin, not Brian, uh, shoot, what's his name? It's something Brecklin, I know Mark, Mark, Mark Paul Gossler, everybody knows him from, uh, Saved by the Bell, uh, maybe NYPD Blue, uh, a few other things. There we go. That was easy enough. Actually, it was it was harder than it should have been. That's what it was. Uh, so yeah, Franklin and Bash is, has been canceled after four seasons, and it's it's such a funny show. Um, if you don't if you've never seen it, what it what it's about is two these two lawyers and they they just practice law in the most unconventional way. Uh, if they have uh, if it's a, most recently they had a lawsuit about stripper, and um, in order to really talk about the um, little nuances and everything that they were complaining out complaining of from their case, they had to actually have a strip off, and it's like, of course, me being a guy, me being the guy audience, it's like, yeah, get on a pole and you know let's have this strip off kind of thing, but. There was a serious undertone to it. Uh, there's usually there's usually always a serious undertone uh, to the show because it, it does involve like a relationship and you know other things and I don't know. It was just it was it's just such a good show and it's it's 
Unfortunately, very underrated is what it was. So that's been canceled. White Collar, another favorite show of mine with... Um, well, the characters' names are Peter Burke, Neil Caffrey, um, Matt, okay, Matt, I know it's Matt Bonner, oh, come on, I don't want the gun, and I don't want to jump off the wall. Oh, God, I can't believe that just happened. That sucks. Falco should have been an easy Versus win for this one. That's so lame. So lame. Anyway, White Collar is in its final final season, just like Sons of Anarchy is in its final season. Um, White Collar follows uh, Neil Caffrey, who is an ex-con. He, um, if you've seen the movie... Um, what is it? Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio and, and, uh, and Tom Hanks. He is a forger. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio played a forger and he gets caught by the FBI. Don't you dare! No! He got the Pokeball. Sorry. Every time I play, I get all caught up in the fight a little bit, so I lose my train of thought. But uh, in the movie Catch Me If You Can, Leonardo DiCaprio plays a forger and a con man. Uh, Tom Hanks is a detective who's who's going after him. And uh, in the movie, by the end of the movie, he gets caught. And what happens is, as part of his sentence, he goes to work for the FBI looking for other forgers and using his skill as a forger to uh, help him crack various cases. So... Um, in the show White Collar, that's exactly what it is. It's it's it, it's if you were to follow the movie of Catch Me If You Can during that time where he's f helping the FBI. Um, very smart, very uh, very nicely done uh, with uh, again the smart writing, the smart uh, like little uh, the ways that they go about. Um, there's always like a give and take, like, you know, the ex-con doesn't really fully trust the FBI, and FBI doesn't really trust Neil, and... Um, and there's always like... Oh, I missed. Here we go. Um, but yeah, there's always, I, I don't know, the very, the very first, uh, storyline that it came to me was Neil broke out of prison, uh, the con man, he broke out of prison to be with his girlfriend, and the storyline went that on the day that he broke out, she was supposed to meet him, she ends up disappearing, and, um, the, the con man says, you know what, if you help me find her, I will help you solve these cases right here. Because I know you haven't, I know there's something about these that you don't know about and he proves it and everything. So they try to help him find his girlfriend, come to find out that somebody in the FBI was keeping him from her. And I, it's, that's not a spoiler. I, that's just part of the storyline. So, uh, but uh, it just, a lot of tangled a web of, of just lies and deceit on both sides. And it was just really interesting to, to watch the the friendship that that forms uh between them but also just like how they kind of try to one-up each other as far as like who's gonna who's really the con man and who's who's gonna stay like not neutral but you know just how is it, just how is it all gonna play out it was very interesting to see that little development there and uh that was one of the reasons why i liked white collar um so 
I don't know. I would check them out. They're 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 all on uh, Netflix right now. I think White Collar is up to season four or five in there. Uh, Sons of Anarchy just came through season six. Season seven is now on TV and uh, airing uh, Tuesday nights, I believe. Uh, I would definitely check those out because they are absolutely freaking ridiculous with uh, the just the twists and turns. Um, yeah, just awesome shows. And it really sucks. Brecklin Myers, that's his name. Franklin and Bash, Brecklin Myers. Brecklin Myers, Mark Paul Glossler. Mark Paul Glossler. Those are their names. All right, next one. Meta Round number two, Meta Knight. Now, he's supposed to be the, the ch cheapest. I think they quote call him the cheapest uh, character to play with. He's actually banned from all uh, brawl competition because there's just... He can stay up in the air. He has all these different combo maneuvers that he could just drain your abilities and drain your life down to... Ready? You know, whatever. I can see how that's a problem. Go, Lee. Get him. Get him, too, Link. Come on, do something. That'll work. <laughs> but there you have it, Meta Knight. He's um, he's definitely got a lot of uh, tricks up his sleeve that that just kind of, that leave very little room for error if you are the opponent. Because um, once he gets you in a corner and, and uses the combo on it, it's it's game over. Joshi, where the heck are you going, man? You're just jumping from edge to edge. It sucks. Fight me. Fight me. Let's see what movies are out. Big Hero 6 is out. I am so looking forward to that. Uh, creators of Wreck-It Ralph and I believe Frozen. Frozen, I do. I'm sorry if you are uh, if you're a Disney fan. If you like Frozen, I apologize for what I'm about to say next, but I cannot stand Frozen. I really cannot. Um, it is super annoying. Uh, within the first half hour, within the first half hour, there are five singing numbers. No Disney film, no musical in history has five singing numbers in the opening 30 minutes. Five singing numbers. That is ridiculous. Um, but anyway, that's my that's my stance on Frozen. Didn't really care for it. I've watched it numerous times to be like, you know what? I'm going to give it a chance. And uh, nothing. Would you stop flying away from me, freaking Jigglypuff? Um, so yeah, uh, Big Hero 6 is out. I'm so looking forward to that. It looks like a fun and um, endearing kind of movie, kind of like Wreck-It Ralph was for me. Uh, you actually, even though Ralph was the villain of a game, you actually got to understand his pain and his frustration being in the game as a villain. And uh, they just did a really good job of uh, developing that character and developing the multiple storylines within the game world. So um, I, I, I'm really looking forward to what they're doing with uh, Big Hero 6.
Oh crap, so now my guy just died? That sucks. Ness is dead. Ness is dead. Freaking Ike. Oh, give me. What happens? Oh, I'm supposed to be right next to him. Damn it. I missed. Okay. So I messed it up. And of course, I'm popular while I'm doing my thing. Nope, I didn't actually. My tower for uh, Clash of Clans upgrade to level 5. My bad. I should probably just. I should really learn to just turn that off. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Big Hero 6 Interstellar has been getting such freakingly amazing reviews that I'm not going to have any choice but to, uh, but to check that out. That is something that will be on my list this upcoming Friday. You're all going to say it when I announce what movie I'm talking about. And um, I don't really care. It's going to bring out the child in me because this is something that I've been waiting for since 1994 when the original came out. Dumb and Dumber 2. I didn't like the other one, Dumb and Dumberer, when Harry met Lloyd. That was just... Without Jeff Daniels, without uh, Jim Carrey, it was just a bust. It really was. Not even... Can't sugarcoat it. Um, that's just all it was. And uh, it was just absolutely... Uh, this one... Just from the preview alone, look freaking. It just looks so hilarious. All right, look what you did. Got it down cold. Anyway, I am so looking forward to Dumb and Dumber 2. Um, there are a few movies out as of yesterday that I want to buy, including. Um, oh god, I can't even think of it now. I can't even think of it now. What movie came out? Oh, um, How to Train Your Dragon 2. That was also a very good movie. A very good, uh, very good, both of them actually. One and two were really good. And uh, if you don't have them a part of your series, you should definitely think about it because they're definitely worth having. I don't like this already. This is a map where it's really impossible to fall off the edges. And oh god, what the hell just happened? Ooh, there it is! I got it. All right, that'll, that'll work. I actually got the smash attack that time. That sucks that it has to be in that kind of close range though. But um, you know, I guess if you're proficient at it, it, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Whoa! Hey now! Hey! 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 There we go. Falco almost went flawless right there. Whoa! Pick yourself back up. There you go. That didn't sound too good. My apologies. Ready, go! I love this music. This is uh, Super Smash World. Or no, Smash World. This is Super Mario World. Uh, 
for those that don't know Super Mario World, this is the this is the game that introduced Yoshi into our lives. No, it was not Nintendo 64 and Super Mario 64. Despite what you might recollect or whatever. Oh god, oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. What? Screw you, Peach. Get out of here. That was ridiculous. I can't believe she got that. She actually got that hit. I think it was with the frying pan. What the flunk? Come on, Rob. The hell was that? Get out of here. The shells are always key in that one because it's just such a small confined space. Ready, go! Team Sonic, huh? Don't you dare get me with no freaking laser. So yeah, I gotta buy How to Train Your Dragon 2. I still gotta get X-Men Days of Future Past. And I've expressed this before. It is definitely a sickness that I have. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, it didn't explode, but I still got both of them. That's... Uh, that's fancy. There go. I swear, if I were to lose this one, this would just like end any kind of hope of me as a um, as a reputable gamer, so to speak. Um, you you can't mess up with Meta Knight. There's just no, there's no messing up with Meta Knight, ever. What's up with that? Why am I going against Pokemon? They think I can't take on any kind of serious, any serious contenders? Not that they're not, well, I don't know. But... Where are you going, Charizard? Hey, Pikachu. You better watch your back, man. Oh, son of a... Really? God dang it. That was my doing, too. They're in cahoots. Oh god, no! Oh, come on. How does he get all the freaking 
moves that help drop the uh, drop those items, and I can't. I don't know if it's a smash attack or what it is, but he just times it perfectly to where when he hits me, he I drop it. It sucks. Final one though. Final match. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, man, it's a hand. I died twice with Meta Knight, and like Meta Knight is the one that you don't die with. Like you're supposed to be like even the shittiest characters don't die with Meta Knight. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh god, what the heck? Why wouldn't it just... That was stupid! That was ridiculous. I have no idea what the heck happened. He just floated off the... St ah. Ah! That's horrible. How could you? I'm so disappointed. So disappointed. Four players remain. Two more down and four players remain. We are nearing the end. It's been fun. Uh, it's been fun doing these. Um, it kind of got me back into the zone of like these fighting games. and I used to love um, Smash Brothers Melee. I actually contended in uh, various tournaments when that game was out, you know, on the GameCube and everything. So I was, uh, I was definitely, that was definitely one of my favorite games back in the day um, so this is yeah this has kind of got me back to it hopefully I know there are places that uh, have little tournaments here in my area maybe I'll you know think about joining those if I can record it I don't know I don't know if they allow that kind of stuff to be done in their uh, little gaming lobbies or whatever but we'll see to, uh, next week I'm thinking, okay, let's see, I did Falcon here today, I'm thinking next week it's going to be Olimar and the Ice Climbers, and then two, for the big finale, the two, uh, the two fighters that I actually do the worst with, I'm going to do, um, what's his name, Snake and, uh, Mr. Game and Watch. Mr. Game and Watch is definitely for the finale, I don't, he just, I don't know. Oh man, that was this is my and that's my worst shooting round ever. 183, 179. Come on, I was up in the 190s last time. Anyway, uh, here we are. This is the end of the uh, final week. Only two more episodes to go before we are done with all the characters. I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate your love and support. So uh, yeah, until next time, leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, and I will uh, talk to you guys later. Peace.